Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. Thanks for joining me today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Today's project is another installment of Chop It Up. I've got a really cool project to share with you showing you some ways to use up some of that 12 by 12 pattern paper. And in today's sample, I have a just a little uh, package of cheap little notebooks that I picked up on clearance for back to school. It was literally like 30 cents and you get like four notebooks in a pack. I'm sure you've seen things like this and we're just going to alter these notebooks and create this beautiful little journal. Okay, so for this journal, I have this mint to be a paper pack from Michaels that I picked up, um, in case you were wondering. So here are the little packages of notebooks that I get. These are from Hillroy, and they're 32 pages of lined paper. They're just little skinny, cheap little notebooks. You can pick these up anywhere, the dollar store probably. Anyways, these come in a pack of four. So what I'm going to start doing, first of all, is gluing these covers back to back. I'm going to use some nice strong adhesive here. I have a tube of Gina K Connect glue, and this is a good adhesive for projects because the adhesive is good and strong and it dries fairly quickly. So I really like that when working with these types of projects. I know that my glue is going to stick and not peel apart and it's going to dry super fast so that I can work at a fast pace and not worry. Okay, so I'm going to cover the page with adhesive and then I'm going to line another notebook up and glue it right on top of there. And once I'm happy with that, I'll put a little something on it to hold some weight down. And I'm going to glue all four of these books together cover to cover. Okay, so we have a little something that looks like this when we're done. We've got a stack of four notebooks all lined up and ready to start decorating. All right, so I've got this beautiful paper pack from Michaels. This is something I picked up this year from the Michaels Fall Collection. These are perfect opportunities to use some of those large sort of scrapbook style pages so that you can, you know, use up those papers and they don't go to waste. So I'm just flipping through. I finally settle on something that I'd like to see as my cover. And I'm gonna start adhering these pieces down to my book. I've also grabbed a piece of heavy base weight cardstock. This is 100 pound cardstock. I'm going to use this to reinforce my cover so that I get more of a substantial, sturdier feel. So what I'm going to do is take one of those 12 by 12 pieces of paper and I'm going to adhere my gray cardstock to the back of it. So I'm just sort of lining it up and leaving about, I wanna say half an inch all the way around. So I wanna make sure that it's evenly spaced from the top and the bottom and the left hand side. So we got about a half an inch or so all the way around there and I'm gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna grab my bone folder and just press that glue in. I wanna make sure that I get good contact and everything is adhered good and the glue is sort of smoothed out. Next I'm going to take my scissors and just sort of angle cut here on these corners. This is gonna help reduce some of that bulk when we go to fold this over and it'll fold nicely and have a nice clean edge. All right, I'm going to add some adhesive to that little half inch strip, and then I'm just gonna fold it over my cardstock. Now, if you want, you can score these ahead to make it easier. I mean, I found this was just fine. I just sort of gently worked it in and pressed in that adhesive and everything held together nicely, so I wasn't too worried. And I'll go ahead and I'll do this again to all the sides, all three sides, we're gonna do the exact same thing, add that adhesive, fold it over and press it down. And then you'll see those little angle cuts that we created helped that little, the corners sort of meet together nice and neat. And we have a nice clean look and everything looks nice. And last piece, we'll adhere this down. So this is pretty simple so far. You can see this sort of coming along. So this will be the front part of our book. Now what we wanna do is repeat these steps twice. I wanna create the exact same thing again with the other side. 
except for my cover for my cardstock is to the left side of the 12 by 12 paper. For the second piece, we want to put that cardstock to the right side. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Because we want to create a front and a back, we want to make sure that the orientation of the pattern paper is the right way. And then here we have one piece of cardstock to the left, one piece of cardstock to the right, and then we have that little white area. That's going to be our spine for our book. And we're going to glue those two pieces together to create a nice sturdy feel. Now I just want to double check that my book is going to fit and I'm just going to help sort of score those areas by lining up my book and wrapping the spine around my book. So then my book is right where I want it to be inside with a little tiny ledge or a little tiny lip hanging over the side of the book. And I'm just going to fold that spine around and work it in so that it's creased nicely and the book is going to nestle in there nice and good. I'll use my bone folder to help create those sort of 90 degree angles in there and I'll press it in really good. And then we're going to repeat this to the back part of the cardstock, doing the exact same thing, taking my little notebook and lining it up, making sure that there's a little tiny edge hanging over on the cover. And then I will grab that spine and wrap it ever so gently around the book and then use the bone folder and press everything in. So this is going to create a nice snug little area and everything is gonna fit together beautifully and we don't have to really measure here. I haven't really measured anything. I haven't, in this video today, I'm not gonna give you any measurements so that you can just basically get the idea of what it is that we want to do and find a notebook and test it out and just see what works for whatever notebook that you have. Okay, so I'm going to reinforce those folds and now we're gonna start gluing the covers together. Right, so I'm going to take one piece and glue it on top of the other. And those little areas where we scored are going to get glued on top of each other. So they'll just fit like a puzzle right into each other. Okay, you'll see what I'm doing there. And I'm going to apply adhesive on one side. And we're just doing one side at a time. I had never really made this sort of cover before, so I was kind of learning as I went. And I mean, that's just the fun of crafting, right? Like you just grab the paper, cut it up and glue it. And if it doesn't work out, then just grab another piece, cut it up and start over. Or grab another piece, start over and cut it up. Whatever way you wanna look at it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so once this is adhered, I had added some adhesive on that second spine, but then I felt like it wasn't really working out the way I wanted it to. If you see, every time I open the book, that piece sort of wants to lift up and I keep pressing it down, but You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So once I get the notebook adhered into this cover, that little flap wants to sort of wrap around it. So I'm just going to grab a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe away some of that adhesive. It's just kind of, you know, I'm not happy with it. And uh, I feel like I want that little cover to wrap around the book. I think it'll look nicer. So I'm going to wipe away that adhesive and let that dry. And now I'm going to glue that little flap onto my notebook. And I'm going to press that in good with my bone folder. And now I'm going to flip to the back of this book. I just kind of want to see what's going on in the back so that I can figure out how to adhere this so that it doesn't fall out because it's only glued to that one little part at this point. So this is where we are so far. I've got my cover glued on and my little set of glued together notebooks inserted inside. And now I'm going to start grabbing pieces of paper, just random different types from that paper pack, and I'm going to start cutting them up. I'm going to line them up and trim them, use my trimmer, I'll use scissors and sort of fit them in where I want them. Here I'm going to create a large pocket. So what I've done is trimmed up a piece of paper and just added glue to the outer edges. So all three sides, the top, the bottom and the side and I left that other part open and I took a little circle punch and punched a half a circle in there to create like like a finger notch and I'm just going to ink up the edges so that it's more prominent and you can see you know you can see that little finger notch a bit better and it creates a little bit of separation and definition on that cardstock so I think that looks cute and now we've got this big 
pocket to stick some, you know, little notes or tags or things like that inside of whatever you want to do. Super cute. So basically, this is the fundamentals of this notebook. Just taking pieces of paper, gluing them in, creating little covers and pockets and, you know, just decorating up those covers and covering those ugly uh, yellow and green and blue covers. So I'll use all of my pattern paper to cover all these up. And for the back, I'm going to add some pockets in there too. And once this is all done, this is what you have basically. Just a beautiful, super fun notebook. This has got some tabs in it. And let's walk through this notebook now for everything that I've done. So I just covered up the front cover and created a little slit in that piece of paper to create a pocket. And I got some tags in there. And I have another large tag here and I put labels on my dividers and I just kind of used some of my scraps and glued them down onto the lined paper to create some fun little interest on different parts of this book. So you'll see the little scraps and some of the cut aparts that I used from the paper pack. And again, another little pocket and some cut aparts. And I did some of that inking around the finger notch here as well to create definition. And again, some more little strips and scraps glued down. I had so much fun just gluing stuff, you know, creating these little fun little pockets and designing things. And here's a nice big pocket and a big tag, another little label. And here I've got this fun card that I made. I watched a Jennifer McGuire video on spinning cards and I created this little guy using I think this is a Concord and Ninth stamp set. I thought this was perfect to go in my little autumn journal here. Okay, and uh, let's continue flipping through. So we've got some more pattern paper and one more divider with another little pocket here, some tags. Super fun. This page I used all scrap strips to create the background here. So it's really busy, but it was fun. This is a nice patterned paper here with these pumpkins and a gold glitter sentiment and some more scraps glued down. And then we have the final pocket in the back here. This little staple was coming out, so I had to kind of squish that back together. Okay, so we have this final pocket here. We've got this one with a little finger notch cut out. And then in the very back of the book, I've got two more little pockets with some cut apart stuffed in there. These are super cute and so much fun. This is a wonderful little journal. I mean, if you're anything like me, then you've got tons of this pattern paper and probably some random notebooks laying around. So I hope that you've gotten a little bit of inspiration to pull out this beautiful pattern paper that we all hoard and create a fun journal. Now I don't typically do this, but this specific journal will be for sale on my website. I've only got one, so if you're interested in this, check the link in the description box down below. If it has not been sold, you'll be able to click that link. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support. And if you're interested in the Chop It Up series coming up on screen, is a playlist to the entire set of videos for Chop It Up. Have yourself a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!